guys, here we are. Um, specific gravity. I'll get straight into it, I never muck around. Um, after some of our posts, many, many people have said, how do I work out how much gold is in quartz? Um, and one follower asked me just recently, and you know what, I came up with a really brilliant way to show you, 100% uh, quickly. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is just the way we do it, okay? But we should be able to prove this result because if you come down here, honey, so what we're gonna do, imagine that was a specie, okay? It's obviously a nugget, okay? But by doing this way, I thought this is quite ingenious, just pardon me saying, uh, doing it this way, I can show, without having to crush it up and do all that, we can show, we, we have a known way to gold. So pretend that was a gold specimen, right? And that was in there. So let's just start. So we're trying to figure out what this is in reverse, but we know what it is because we're gonna weigh it, okay? So it's 5.32. All right, so it's 5.32. That's what it actual weighs, right? So, we're gonna do a specific gravity test. Now, uh, this is the little funny little rig that we use. The stacks of ways that show on the internet and that, you know what, I've tried a few of them and, that, and I could never get any of them to be accurate. I find this way accurate. So that's just a lid of a jar. I've drilled some holes in it, stuck a bit of wire in there. Typical bush, gibbery, bloody thing. But here's the idea of what you're after, right? So to calculate this, it's based on Archimedes' principle of water displacement, I guess. Uh, and gold is a known a gravity of 19 point something or other times heavier than water. Quartz is. Um, 2.65 I think specific gravity gravity blah 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 but um, I use this little thingy here which I'll give to anyone who wants it it does all the calculations for you all you have to do is enter in the uh, weight in air in grams and then weigh your specimen enter the weight in and it'll tell you how much gold's at the end right and I already ran through this and it came out right so first thing we have to do we've done a sorry we've skipped over we need to do a dry weight of both. Sorry. Okay, so let's just tear that. Do a dry weight, pretending that's a nugget. What have we got there? 33.4, 33 okay? So that's dry weight. I write D. If you saw that, I write D. Then, you must suspend your uh, nugget, or specimen, in water. There's many ways people do this, but to be honest, I might just move that out of light, it's not so bad. No, I shall move it this way. Uh, so to be honest, this is the best way I've found. Uh, so I just sit my scales there. It's really important that this little wire thing doesn't touch the sides of the inside of this, however you manufacture your little setup, or the lid. So everything's uh, suspended. You might want to just show, honey, that nothing's actually touching. That's, that's free floating, see? And it's not touching anywhere. So then I'll tear it off. Right, now I have a specific gravity tester. Now, um, I usually just throw them in, because I've got a big one here, I'm just gonna, hopefully this is gonna not mark it up, but if you just do that carefully and put it back in without it touching again, I mean touching the sides in any way, we can usually get a pretty close weight. So there we've got a wet weight, can you see that, hun? Yep. Uh, 22.3, what's it? 20, Four. 22 point what? Three, three. Three, three? Yep. Yep, goes up and down. So again, so we're, that's our wet weight. That's, that's what you need to dry and a wet. Okay, so now if we come over to here, if we don't need that anymore. Um, we originally weighed our gold, right? So we know what it weighs. But if we come over to our calculations and type in, uh, so it's a little bit different, 4, 7, it's 33 point Five, you know, it can be a poof dance out. That's what I did just before. The 33.47, yeah. Hit enter, uh, weight in water, and that is 22.33 grams. Right, I love this calculator, it, it just works, and uh, I'm terrible at maths. Okay, so this one's come out, and I have had this in and out of the water a couple of times to test this. But this one's come out at 4.58 grams. Okay, so 4.58. So let's say 4.6. 
it's pretty damn close, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's pretty damn close. And I, and I promise you, um, before I mucked around a few times and got every little drop of water on it makes a difference. So before I mucked around with it and had it in the water a few times, the very first time I did it, it came out within 0.4 of a gram, didn't it, honey? Yep. So uh, that's how we do it. Really, really quick one. I hope you find this useful. Specific gravity. Uh, if your quartz has got lots and lots of ironstone in it, or it's an ironstone specimen, um, you can change your parameters in here, and it will give you a different calculation. We don't need to show that, but, or you can, but you can change your parameters in here for what uh, what it is, ironstone or whatever. Anyhow, that's for another time where you'll work it out. But uh, if anyone's interested, I'll give them the link to this little thing. I've, I've posted it somewhere. Uh, specific gravity. Uh, this way, I, I have done it, and um, it's very, very accurate, isn't it, honey? It usually comes out within, a, you know, a gram or less. Yep. So, easy way to do it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. See you later, guys. See you on the next one.